All right, what is up, my friends? Ten new brews. <laughs> Missed the last one. Go freaking watch it. It was awesome. No spoilers. It was freaking awesome. Deck number four here. Four of ten plus one. We got a bonus brew. Thanks, Harambe. You're the bomb. And uh, our deck number four here is a little similar to our last deck in that it feels like it's almost a little more about what left the format rather than what came into the format. Now, we'll go with the, the new card first. The big new card here is Lisa. Lisa, it's an angel. Forgotten Archangel. Five mana for a 4-5 Flying Lifelink, which is pretty good because it blocks Gold Span Dragon and just is a well, pretty well-sized creature. Whenever another non token creature you control dies, return it to its owner's hand, the game NX end step, which is good. And then if a creature your opponent controls would die, exile it, which is like not as exciting, but definitely relevant for sure. Uh, great top end card for the Angel deck. And that's all well and good. But the big thing here is that the card Fajara's Retribution, this card's awesome, but absolutely awful against Brazen Borrower. And then the sort of mid-range, you know, Retribution and Rampage of the Valkyries stuff wasn't very good against the, you know, Ultimatum, Yorian, Ugin, Embercleave format. But things have, you know, slowed down a little bit now that all those cards are gone. So these cards get better. They get an upgrade in the Forgotten Archangel card. Um, you know, a few new kill cards here. I'm not like new, new, but you know, power word kill, vanishing verse. Um, and otherwise, it's kind of like this angel core of like youthful Valkyrie, righteous Valkyrie, renegade Reaper is kind of a cool card. Um, gains four life, and they can mill. The mill won't matter much except for Resplendent Marshal and Skyclave Shade. But a two three against four is awesome. Is that it's actually very good against aggro decks. And then we have Legion Angel for the card advantage. And Starheim Unleashed, another card that just was pretty bad against Brazen Borrower, and it's not really big enough to win against the really big cards in the format. So, pretty excited for this one, honestly. I'm, I'm pretty pretty pumped for this. The mana base is a little iffy, um, but whatever. It's fine. We also have Legion Angel here for a little extra value. No sideboards. We're playing best of one today. We're playing five games of best of one with all ten new brews and an 11th deck as well. Look that all on YouTube. Uh, like, comment, subscribe here on YouTube. And also, the deck with the most comments will get uh, replayed, which is awesome. And uh, my article on CoolStuffInc.com tomorrow will go over all the decks as well. Speaking of that, we're brought to you by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Let's go. Also, I didn't mention I didn't mention this card. This card's insane. Uh, Rampage of the Valkyries, just a really, really good card. Uh, our replacement is land. Um, just like it's Grave Pack for Angels. It's also a threat. Just a really good card. Another one, cool. All right, so we're gonna play our Youthful Valkyrie here. We got a an island and a consider. Consider. Also a pretty cool card. Blue red. Goodbye Valkyrie. Fine, 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 fine. As long as they aren't playing counter spells, uh, resolve these rampages. Rampage also lines up well against. Uh, not well, but okay. Whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. Is this Bronze to Mythic for uh, the D and D limited set? I guess we're gonna kill this. I think Power Wars better than Flunk. Uh, I'm not sure. It's hard to know what kill spell is best because the format's just a brand new format, so we have no idea at the moment. Uh, so it's really hard to say. But opponents are rolling some freaking dice here. Look at what's going on here. None of the dice roll cards are actually like playable, right? All right, so we're gonna play uh, Rampage of the Valkyries, and I think we're gonna win this game. I think. Just saying. Spell Pierce me. Do it. So we get our Grave Pact for Angels. And we get an angel token, which is awesome. No! Alright. They fading hope. So, Brazen Borrower may be gone, but I guess fading hope is here. Um, contact the other plane. Oh my god. Oh, not like this. Don't do this to me. They should probably have four fading hope in their deck. All right, get it for two. We're going to draw here. We're going to draw another one. All right, we are rampaging like a freaking crazy person here. Um, no more. All right, they untapped immediately, so they have no more uh, fading hopes. Now every angel that dies, two of her things die. So 
Play land. Still five cards in hand. Power word kill might not be good. I, I agree. I agree. Which two? Which two, all I know is that the uh, the two life one is not great. They're gonna draw two, discard two, make a treasure. Okay. Discarding two lands. Sure. Don't draw unsummon again. Pixie guide. Sure. We draw retribution. I seek retribution. All right. So. Uh, this card is absolutely insane if you've read it before. Makes it 4-4. Four, four. All your angels kill everything and double strike them on the turn. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal card. These cards are really powerful, but again, they just weren't very... They just didn't line up well in the old format, so... Get it for 4. It's got Vigilance. And now, next turn, all my angels gain tap to destroy creature of power less than this creature's power. Which is insane. And any angel that dies right now, they stack two creatures. So, granted, they are playing freaking Feywild Trickster Instructed, but... Mismatch angel tokens. Caldime, Caldime. That is interesting. And a concession. Game. I mean, Blouses. there's a reason why I didn't build a die roll deck, you know? Uh, one and up. Ten new brews. Snarl Hive. This hand's fine. This hand's fine. Angels. Vanishing Verse is a very iffy card. It's the kind of card you, when you first see it, you're like, oh my god, this card is broken. And then uh, you play with it a little bit, and you're like, all right, I mean, it's not broken. And the Skyclave Shades here are, are a concession to the control matchup. You see the kind of like redundant threat. Archpriest of Iona. Sure. So play Snarl Tap. So you go. I mean, like, that's a pretty good draw. We should have Valkyrie into Reaper. The retribution too, so they're gonna name Green on Temple of the Dragon Queen. Uh okay. Sure. High of the Eye Tyrant, Valkyrie. Yeah, snarls are are not great, but you know I I would say you play snarls in standard with the expectation they come in tapped like twenty percent of the time or more. Ah, uh, Bears of Lajara, sure. So now, we're probably going to want to Vanishing Verse the Changeling. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. All right, so we're going to play Land. I would like to play Reaper this turn and just kind of curve out, but... I guess I can play Reaper and then play Shade plus Verse next turn. Yeah, that plays, actually. Let's do that. So, mill four, milled an angel, gain four, pump the thing, attack for two. Next turn's gonna be Skyclave Shade and Verse on Shapeshifter. They may not know you can play base camp. I mean, it's kinda weird. Bears again? Alright, they're getting there. Uber, reset, thanks so much. Show of the Skulls is great. Yeah, we're playing it later. Uh, very good card, very good card. All right, this is getting awkward. Um, so now this allows just a creature or plants all each creature power for greater damage permanent. Yeah, this is uh, gonna be a scary turn for us, honestly. I mean, we have to kill one of the four fours. Bears is actually a really good card. Definitely a card that was also totally held down by Stomp. It's so funny how like many cards are being released from their prison of Eldraine being legal, you know. Um, like, this card's an awesome card, but you just couldn't play it because Stomp and Brazen Bar were illegal. So, all right, so make us a 4-4, four, four, and then they're going to be able to eat one of my creatures with, with that, which kind of sucks. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I feel so bad for them because I've done the exact same thing. So, they accidentally targeted their own creature with the fight, so it fought itself. I've done that like twice before. I really, I, I actually feel bad. Like, I, I, I feel really bad. It's so easy to do, because you think it's a fight, so you 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 click, you click go to click yours first, but it's not a fight, you just target their thing. So like, ugh, I, I, oh, I'm sorry, opponent. I feel so bad for you. All right, whatever. That, that was gonna be good. So they, they, so they just lost a 4-4 and killing my creature. All right, so they have concerned defense. That's pretty good. But they're running out of cards, too, so... Oh, man, I feel so bad. 
concede for them. The game's not over yet, but I, I do feel bad for them. All right, so they just block with their redundant Sentinel. This Bears goes off. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Ouchie wowie. Clear water pathway. Spoils of adventure. Draw three, gain three. All right, they're, they're gaming here. They're playing games. They're not, not here to, uh, do nothing, you know? And we're going to hopefully draw land. Or Rampage of the Valkyrie. It's pretty good too, actually. So, just play Valkyrie, attack for five. And they're gonna just jump? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Six lands now. A naked Masked Vandal. That card's, this card's actually really good against us, because we have the Rampage of the Valkyries and everything else. Like, we're gonna play Rampage now and, like, be glad that it's still alive. Rampage, or I could also just Reaper and then Skyclave Shade. Nah, we're gonna Rampage. I guess if they had another Concerted Defense there, it would've sucked. But, all right, we're jamming. Not just nothing, they just got nothing. I feel bad for them. They, they, they might've won this game if they, uh, if they triggered it properly. All right, sure. I'll take it. Whatever, though. I've done it before, too. I've been there. Uh, it's a rite of passage on Magic Arena that is trying to resolve your your uh, reflections of a jar trigger. So, 2 and 0. 2 and 0. Pain lands. YouTube comments of a day. Is the answer to the question, should pain lands be evergreen and standard? That's your YouTube comment of a day, folks. I always forget to do comment of a day. I gotta remember to do these things. Uh, I mean, like... As long as we draw a land, I'm going to keep. We need to draw a land, but... Oh, it's not a land. Just like Valkyrie into Valkyrie, Valkyrie, Valkyrie is pretty good. Hollowed Priest? Uh, that is a Magic Arena only magic card. It's a worse copy of Giant's Pride Mate. And didn't like Heliod and all those cards rotate too? Celestial Unicorn. This person is Numbers Mythic, folks. This person is in the Numbers in Mythic. Um, and we're going to lose, probably. Alright, so Valkyrie. I guess attack. Four Righteous Valkyries here. Which are going to obviously scale together really well. Angel of Vitality. Okay. I'll play another Valkyrie. We're at 24. And now there's like some impetus to want to like keep myself from taking damage. Should I grow the Valkyries? So something like this. Check lands are good too. I like lands that come in untapped on turn one. Honestly, the new lands are pretty cool. I, I must say when I, when I saw them, I was kind of sad about it. But but um, having now played with them, they are pretty cool. Book of Exalted Deeds. Um... Okay, we're going to just Vanishing Versus. We don't have that stupid combo, so sure. They have enough mana to activate Haven and do the combo, right? No, they don't, actually. They need they need 1, 2, 3 to activate, and then 1, 2, 3 to do this. So they are 1 mana short of doing it. So therefore, I can wait a turn and then do it next turn. Why is our Mythic Numbers opponent playing uh, an intro deck? I have no idea, but they're just doing their thing, so... So yeah, they can't activate yet. It's white, 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 snow, snow, snow is what's necessary. So we can play our Valkyrie here, gain a bunch of life, pump our things up, get in for a million, and they're just dead. Game. Whew. Blouses. And that slush the unicorn was really scaring me there. Three and up. Three and up. Let's go. Two and oh? Three and oh, right? Am I two and oh? I'm two and up. Oh. Am I lying? Am I making things up? Yeah, it was just party and you're right, you're right, two and oh, I'm lying. I'm lying. Sorry. Sorry, I'm a liar. 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 All right, so hand's a little slow, but honestly, Reaper's pretty cool. Just a 2-3 two, two, fly over against 4 life is pretty awesome. So we're going to keep this. It buys the time you need to stay alive. It's cool, so. Fetch lands are just a pain in the ass. This is what it is. Now I'm 3-0? Oh, the dice roll opponent, too. Yeah, yeah, I am 3-0. I would... I would I wouldn't lie to you guys. Come on. Wrong button. What do you think is this? I wouldn't lie to y'all. 
Monk of the Open Hand. Okay. And Code Spell Cleric. That's a nice little, little, little one-two punch. Four oh. I'm six and oh, folks. I'm six and oh. Six and oh. We're just playing extra games for some reason. A snarl that comes in untapped. Inconceivable. Alright, so um Fortel. We have Reaper. Obviously Rampage is really good if we survive to cast it, so. God of the Worthy? Oh! Oh, that one hurts. That one hurts real bad. Bold by big spells. Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna play the uh hold this for Snarl, I guess. Play the Renegade Reaper. Hit an angel, so gain some life. So we gotta kill this Redane God of the Worthy. It was Angel Imposter. I'm gonna take my angel down too. Jeez. Right. Um. Jeez. Yeah, take it easy over there. All right. So. I can't believe this cost so much mana. Hmm. I mean, it's just a Legion Angel, right? Legion this turn, and then Valkyrie Reaper next turn. All right. Might be in trouble here, folks. We really, really wanted to guess Rampage of the Valkyries this turn, but Redain is uh is not helping out. Redain is not helping out. Is this is this a, is this a joke? Somebody's playing a prank on me. Double takedowns, just taking me down like I'm like I'm nothing. Uh, all right. This this Redain is actually destroying us. All of our best cards are non-creature cards that cost four or more. So. All right, Valkyrie Reaper, try and get some uh, recovery here. Gain four life, please, 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 please. Yes, yes, yes. Pretty big butts here. Pretty big butts. Oh my god. Land number four. Luminar Gasparin. <sighs> and just jamming. This person is insane. They're letting me double block Redain. I would go to one, and then I would untap with not enough blockers in play. God, unbelievable. All right. Um, take seven, or block and kill both of these, and take six. I don't matter either way, folks. I think we're just dead. I think we're just dead. If I had a Wrath, it wouldn't matter if they Dane in play, so couldn't even cast it. If I could cast Star I'm Unleashed, I guess I could Star I'm Unleashed, right? Then I would have still not enough blockers, though. Yeah, the X, the X token probably like one in the game. All right, whatever. Just do this and this. Sure. We'll just go to go to freaking two or whatever. I think they got us, folks. I think Redain might have done it, done it, done us dirty. Uh, that did, that doesn't help. Yep. Oh, we're two. Actually, we're not dead yet. I mean, we have Legion Angel again, so... And our butts are getting bigger. There's a chance. There's a chance this game. Say go. I draw a land. I can cast Retribution for six. Okay, that's on land number five for them. And they're going to play the Protector's Shield. Which is also fine. So you're telling me there's a chance. This is an insane attack. Um, so many words. Print one of the damage. So we can kill Aspirant here, but nothing else. And we're also going to... Yeah, so Redain's... We're going to lose something here, unfortunately. Um... That's lethal. No blocks on these are lethal. So I can go like here. I mean, it just has to be this, right? Which sucks. So I, I lose. I'm going to lose something. I want to keep the Valkyrie. And I want to kill their Aspirant. And we're still going to have three blockers for their three attackers next turn. So 
All right, yeah, this is this is okay, I guess. Oh yeah, I mean, it makes more sense to yeah put this here. So keep our legion angel. Sure, that's a lot better. I don't know why I'd want to do it. Stupid. Um, good catch, chat. Good catch. Good show. So legion angel again. Now the Valkyrie's even bigger. I drew a land, but it comes in tap. Was I? Was I drew it? So try and hold on here, folks. That that eight life we gained off these two reapers is pretty huge. Um, code spell cleric. Okay, okay. We got the comeback here. We got the comeback trail. Um, so we're gonna lose another angel here. But we're, they're gonna lose their one one, and every one every one every one one they lose is like. Huge because we're just gonna die to it. So, and this, and this. I'd rather keep the uh, and block with Legion Angel. Sure. All right. Ooh. Oh, it's Ooh. Oh my God. That's even better. That's even better. All right. We need a, we need a brick for one turn, folks. We need the brick for one turn. That's a brick, folks. Bingo. Lisa, it's your birthday. Take over the game for me, please. Lisa, it's your birthday. And now I can cast Valkyries. Rampage to the Valkyries, too. It's tight. Uh, two, four, six, seven. Or I can make two tokens with this thing, too. That's it, folks. That's it. I can actually cast this, though. Retribution. Let's go. Happy birthday, Lisa. Lisa, it's your birthday. All right. Now we can take a hit. So a Skyclave is no longer lethal. And if we untap, we kill all their things. Do we kill all things? Every target of a spell or ability? Sure. I can kill some things. I can kill everything. I can kill everything. Pretty sure. Lisa number two. So, each angel now has tap to destroy a creature with power less than this creature's power. So, Lisa. I'm sorry, no. I can do it in combat, too. So, we're going to attack with Lisa and the Vigilance Angel. And then in combat, I'm going to deal f destroy a target with power less than the creature's power. Yeah, okay. Destroy this. Pay one. Pay for a bunch. Gain some life. And now it doesn't matter what we do, honestly. Just start on Unleash. We get two angels. Play Valkyrie. Whatever. It doesn't matter what we do, honestly. I don't think it... Play this. And this, this ability lasts until end of turn. Sure. So let's kill their stuff. Kill this. I should... Whatever. Fine. Kill that. Just say go. Woo! What a win! What a comeback! The life gain! So folks, anyone who wants to know why Infernal Plunge is bad, the, the Doom Blade that deals you two, it's the same reason why this card is good. Because gaining life helps. Life is great. But they just, uh, they killed my creature, they get edicted, and they're dead. That's it! Game. Pack it up. 4-0! And now we are the ones who are in the numbers. We are the one who are in the numbers. Let's go. Stabilized at one. Stabilized at one. Uh, I fell back out of the numbers. <laughs> I was in the numbers. Uh, a deck list for this deck. It's on the overlay. It'll also be my article on coolstuffinc.com tomorrow. 10 New Brewers article has all the deck lists in it. And my thoughts on each. Everything you could ever want. All right, I'm going to keep this. Ship one of these. A little clunky, I'm not gonna lie, a little clunky. It got better, it got better. Predictions? I haven't done them, though. No. Roast and Toast, reset, thanks so much. Dragon Guard Elite, that's cool. Uh, so we're gonna hold the planes, actually, for uh, for the Snarl, if I draw Snarl. All right, what do you got for me, Dragon Guard Elite? Is it a fight? It's a fight. All right, they have fought my Valkyrie, and they have won. 
Oh, I draw land. We draw land, land here. If we cast Rampage on turn five, we're, we're, we're going to win this game easily, I think. But we got to cast it on turn five, so. Righteous Valkyrie. They should, like, fight every turn. Just, like, fight this turn. Fight this turn. Fight this turn. It's going to be funny. <laughs> every turn. Fight your creature. Attack. Fight your creature. Attack. Alright, we got to draw land. We got to draw land, land. You need to draw land here. Land or we lose. That is that is that is the opposite of a land. That is a that is a that is that is bad. That is bad. That is a creature of a camp block. First rule of fight club is It's cold. Very cold. Yeah, we're dead now. Uh, no blocks. Decklist article tomorrow. Yes, coolstuffinc.com tomorrow. Tomorrow, indeed. <laughs> what is this? Am I dead? Are you going to kill me? Giant growth, giant growth, you're dead. Choose your... Somebody's playing a prank on me. <laughs> we just got killed on turn five. You're like, in fact, killed. But now we're back to 1800. Uh all right. That's a that's a that's a thing that can happen, I guess. Um, yeah, sure. I guess it wouldn't matter if we drew, if we drew a land or not. All right, that's fine. We'll take it. We'll take it. I jinxed it. Well, four. I'll take four and one all day. All right, I'll take four and one all day. Um, so yeah, I mean, once again, like it's important to note that the power level of standard is definitely a lot lower than it was clearly. Um. So a lot of these cards that didn't have a chance to shine are going to shine now, you know, and then they shine pretty well in this in this deck. Um, you know, just the more, like, basic nuts and bolts, play your creatures, attack your creatures kind of magic is, like, going to actually matter. Whereas before, that would just die to Embercleave and just die to, you know, whatever, Ultimatum and stuff, too. So, deck was cool. I think this card's absolutely insane. Bonkers good. Um, removal Suite needs a little work, probably. And again, if this is best of three, you might put, you might put all your, all your Skyclave Shades in the board. And play more kill spells, maybe. Uh, but I want to. I, I don't know. You want to have some sort of hedge against control decks and re removal decks too. So, yeah. I mean, deck seems super great. That's this deck. That's deck number four. YouTube folks, love you. Like, like, comment, subscribe. Deck number five is coming up.